There goes the humper back in the house. We got down the road to the highway. And he's like, I don't know if I have my card. What? I start turning on the exit. No, don't turn on the exit. So I'm <laughs> he looks in his wallet because he carries this tiny little thing. Look at this. It's a tiny little thing of a wallet and he doesn't like putting a whole lot in here. Uh, so um, he did not have his Sam's Club card, which is also his credit card for Sam's Club. So he could not get in if we got over this. Thank God he thought of it now because Sam's Club is like 25 minutes away. So yeah. And apparently we're going out for Chinese buffet so I'm gonna have sushi y'all know how much I love sushi something sprung his trap also but nothing was in it so he put some peanuts and sunflower seeds in there and hopefully we'll catch something so something's been messing with it he's gonna be putting his RV up for sale that was really for mom that's the only reason he got it was she wanted one so bad uh, so he's gonna fly that up brush it all down and wash it real good and Put a sign on it. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. The humple. All right, back off we go. What did we just have? Chinese. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Now we're full. Now we're going to... Sam Club. Yeah, because he's having issues with his glasses. And then we might go to Target just because, you know, yeah. I didn't take it to the Chinese restaurant because there was lots of people. But maybe I'll take it to the Target when I go. Goodbye. Huh. Hello. Dead. Bye. <laughs> now we're at Sam's Club. Dad went in to go talk to the optical people and there are many, many people here. Saturday. Lots of people. Uh, so we went in right over there. The welcome door. You happen to pull in right when somebody was pulling out. You gotta love when that happens. I think, um, I think we're gonna go down the Target because it's right down the road. I wanna go cruising around, looking at stuff. Do I need anything new? Do I wanna look and maybe buy something I don't need? Yes. Because I, I like to look in the dollar bins. I actually buy stuff there to, to put away for packages for people, but I've been lacking on that. I have so many i got to put together. Oh. I guess paying a $152 speeding ticket kind of put a crimp in my financial situation. And yesterday, yesterday, yes, I got my driver's license renewal and my license plate renewal. Although I can do them both by mail, which is cool. I don't have to go to the license bureau. I like that time. We can do it every other time, so next time I'll have to go to the License Bureau. Uh, yeah. That's what all is happening. It's almost 1 o'clock. And, uh, Walmart's right next door, but I don't feel like Walmart today. I know, shocking. But true. So we'll see what happens. So, bye. Here comes the humper wonder what he found out. He went to this eye doctor here to see how much lenses would be. Where the hell's he going? What'd you find out? Well, I can see I can see good with him in that. Okay. She said just for backup, hell, I, she said I wouldn't pay no $150 for just a backup pair of glasses when you can see good out of them, you know. Oh, so you're just going to keep them like they are? Yeah, yeah they'll be good for backup. I mean, I can see good out of them in that. So oh. There's All no right. use for paying $150 if I don't have to. Now we're going to Target. <sighs> Target. You ready? I'm ready for the big excursion. Why do you keep pushing your glasses up? They slipping? No, not really. I just kind of have them doing it. Oh. You know what? I used to do it when I put contacts on. I would still try to push my glasses up when I didn't have any glasses on. <laughs> uh, see, how, goofy, how goofy is that? <laughs> I'd take after you. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I didn't take the camera into Target today. I left the camera in the car by accident. See, I'm used to having my coat on and it's always in my coat pocket. But And then I kind of hide it in my coat pocket in the buggy and then I take it out when I want it. And now that it's summer, that's kind of debauching my video and in stores. 
So now we're at Gordon's Food Service. Dad's in, just went inside to get supplies for the Legion. He just called down there to see what they needed. They need like a block of cheese and a couple things of hamburger buns and hot dog buns and tomato juice for the bar and a loaf of bread, I think. And so yeah, I spent like $16 at Target. That wasn't bad. Because uh, if I came out with nothing, you know, I'd be sick. I, Dad bought some too. I don't know what he bought. So now we're just cruising. We'll probably go take the stuff to the Legion and who knows what. Ooh, someone just threw a cart right into the wall. How nice are they? It is banged right over there on the wall. For shame! Uh, they adjusted his glasses and they seem to fit a little bit better. They had to do some adjusting and uh, if this still doesn't work out, they'll be willing to totally send them in and change them. But he, he seemed to, he's trying them. They're really nice there. He's even got for up to a year that if he like is mowing the grass and they fall off his face and he runs over them, the guys like pick up the pieces and bring them in and we'll replace them. That's called the, you get a one time oopsie clause. You can have a one oopsie. So... Yeah, I don't see it likely happening, but you know, it can. It's like an overcast day today. I should call Justin back because Justin called earlier and we were, I don't know where we were, but I couldn't answer. So yeah, Justin, I'll call you right now. Bye. Last stop of the night. Uh, he wanted to swing in here in the grocery store because he wanted to check out the, they have cantaloupes on sale this week for a dollar each. So he's going to see what they look like and he's going to get a few and then we're going to go to the house and he's going to steal my car to go to the Legion. I said, well, let's go drop the stuff off. Well, what if I want to stay? What if I want to get a game of cards going? What if I want to get drunk? And I'm like, you ain't driving my car? You know I ain't going to get drunk. So he, he likes to go over and hang out with the bar crowd. There's a wild girl over there. Her name is Janet? I don't know, but... She likes to play Euchre and have the Humper as the partner, so, yeah. Maybe before I, um, before he leaves, I'll have him get on and tell a little story of something. I don't know what. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. We're asking the Humper for a story. Look this way. Give us a story. Uh, let's see. What kind of good story you want to hear? How about something from the Navy? Well... That's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Give us one of the funny ones. Well. Like the time you were painting the boat. Oh, I was painting the boat over the side of the ship. Where were you at? I was down in Trinidad, Tobago. And I was painting the anchor over the side of the ship. There all kinds of sharks down there in the water. And it was started raining out, and the guy was supposed to be tending my lines, but he went inside because it was raining, and my lines slipped, and I was holding on by the saddle down there and the shark was right below me. I thought, well, this is it, I'm dead. <laughs> I screamed and yelled and screamed and yelled and finally come out and God rescued me. <laughs> what kind of sharks were down there? I don't know, big sharks. Is that the same place you went golfing? Yep, went golfing down there too. They had the... In the jungle. And, and you I, heard? I heard a roar in the jungle and I took off running. <laughs> I didn't want to golf no more. Did you really quit golfing? No, I, I would just skip a couple of holes went down where I didn't hear no animals yelling anymore, you know. <laughs> but that's where we pulled in to turn it to Bagel. I was on a tanker. We pulled into the pier and they had a wooden pier there and they had a band out in the pier playing this music with these drums hollowed out, you know. Like the reggae pretty, type yeah, music? Yeah, the reggae music. And we pulled in there and hit that pier and li liked to knock the damn pier down. And they, the band took off running, got off the pier. And I thought for sure we were going to knock the pier down. We didn't. <laughs> but that was down in Tinner, Trinidad, Tobago. Sometime we're going to have to do some more of your Navy stories when you're in Europe. Yeah. Say goodbye. Bye.